Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Mazda CX-5 facelift. This is the revolution version and in this video I will make the full review. Interior, exterior, we will talk about technical data, we will talk about space, material quality, multimedia system, everything about the car you will find out in this video. So stay with me until the end of the video if you want to find out everything about the car. By the way guys, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, and if you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, check out Gallicar Garage. I will leave the link in the description if you want to see the car, buy the car whatever check them out anyway they have great discounts so you will see in this video I will present you in a second that they already have a 5590 franc discount on this model here so they have kind of great discounts in the last time I check out a little bit the cars and they have really good price here in Switzerland so check them out guys I want to give you some technical data and then we will start the review so as I said in the beginning I have the CX-5 the diesel version revolution version it comes with an all-wheel drive system it comes also with a 2.2 liter diesel engine 184 horsepower but in a second a little bit more information the starting price of the car it's 48,600 francs this is the basis price the starting price of this car and it's included all these options right here guys in this area so you can kind of pause the video and read it out uh, if you want to find out but I will also explain you every single option from this one in the video as we go uh, a little bit later it comes also optional with a few optional uh, for example we have the leather pack 2000 francs we have the glass electric glass roof this one here that you can also open it up electrically I will show you later 1000 extra it comes with metallic color 800 extra and it comes with this sound system both sound system 1900 francs extra so you can see the price right there I hope it's focused well anyway then the final price normally should be 53,490 francs but you already have a discount here 5,590 francs so the final price will be 47,900 francs so for this 6.5 with all these options that the car come with is just a phenomenal phenomenal price and you will see what I'm saying that as we go in the video let's go to the technical data now so the weight of the car 1835 kilograms 6.6 .6 liter is the estimated consumption and I think you can achieve it and the uh, CO2 emission 173 grams it's in D class efficient class now I want to go even deeper a little bit in the details and I want to tell you that this diesel engine 2.2 liter it comes with four cylinders in line it's a common rail engine and it comes with 184 horsepower 445 newton meters all-wheel drive system and it comes with six speed automatic transmission the range vltp 878 kilometers the fuel tank capacity 58 liters top speed of the car 208 km per hour 0 to 109.6 seconds the ground clearance of the car 20 centimeters it comes with ventilated brake disc on the front and normal brake disc on the rear the rims size of the car it comes standard with 19 inch rims and the turning radius of the car 11 meters the boot capacity 550 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1395 liters also the front suspension independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar the rear suspension multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar so those are the most important information about the car guys let's start the review exterior interior and then in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's talk about the key this is the key of the car it's a simple key a very light key and here on the side we have the buttons you can see we have four buttons the one down here is to stop the alarm when the alarm will be triggered the second one is to open the trunk all you have to do is just hold it for two seconds and the trunk will open for you if you want to close it the great part is in comparison with other cars is that you can also close it from the key here so you don't have to always hold your finger on the button in order to close the trunk the other two buttons are for close lock the car and unlock the car you can do it also from this button right here you can press this button to unlock the car and you can press it to lock it as you can see here the car come also with electric folding mirrors as standard and this is great in this version so this is really really good 
So enough with the key, let me start the engine, let me turn on the lights and let me talk a little bit about the exterior design. As you can see here from the side, the car is quite similar with the previous version. So that's why maybe they call it the facelift because they make a little change here and there. And also I did already a video about that and I will explain uh, the exterior. So in this video, I try to make it a little bit shorter, but the idea is like that. They improve a little bit the look of the car. They make it a little bit more attractive in my opinion. Those new lights are much, much more beautiful and also technological speaking, they are much more advanced because we have full LED light. We have matrix LED light in the front. You will see in the second, even the roof spoiler and the back design, it's a little bit more round and, and much nicer and much more attractive. Overall, if you look the car on the street, you will like it. I mean, uh, I know my wife really like Mazda cars in general. Uh, they are super attractive, really nice design and they look really good and I know many people that like uh, those Mazda cars. In general, women, I noticed that they like the car very much. So anyway, the front of the car, the lines, the design, it's beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful car from outside and no, no, no wonder and no doubt that this new facelift, CX-5 facelift, it's much nicer than the previous version. Up here on the roof, you will see immediately the radio antenna that it's a shark tail. It looks great. It's modern. It's nice. Also going forward here to the spoiler, it, it's nice integrated in the body of the car. Uh, we have some matte plastic here on the side. Here is the the brake lights, LED light on the brake lights, they're very, very visible from the back. Here we have tinted windows on the side and also here in the back. You have a wiper here, uh, very simple and very useful. And going down, the Mazda logo in the middle, round shape, you can see here, they quite round it up a little bit. Also, you can see this line that goes through uh, the side of the car look also nice and continuing here on those new uh, lights and if you look at the lights you will see the turning signals full LED the tail lights full LED and even the fog lamps are LED so this is really really good and they look quite nice I'm, I really like the design of the, of the lights also on the other side the same story and also if I go a little bit backward you can see them from the back the way they look, it's it's nice. It's really nice, it's unique. You didn't see this kind of shape on the other cars and this is a good thing. Now down here, we have uh, on the number plate also LED lights, two LED lights and this is also a good thing and the reverse camera because the car comes with 360 degrees camera. I will show you in a second when you go forward. CX-5 all wheel drive, so you know which kind of uh, model you are driving and sky active d d it's from diesel we have four parking sensors on the rear usually those kind of big suvs have six parking sensors this mazda cx5 have only four some light reflectors and down here quite practical it's very simple black uh, matte plastic nothing fancy nothing crazy on the bumper down here and on the right side we have the exhaust pipe so you can see it here uh, sitting on the right side of the car. Going forward here, guys, on the side, in order to open this uh, tank, you have to go here. You have to pull it like that. And then you can see here is the tank, the diesel tank and the add blue, it's here on the, di on the driver's side. And this is a good thing. Other than that, here on the windows, we have some chrome on the down part. So you can see the chrome on the, on the down part of the windows. On the higher part, we have a matte uh, plastic, a matte black uh, plastic, and here we have some glossy plastic. I like that very much. Tinted windows, glossy plastic within the windows look quite, quite nice. Also, the handles are very simple. And what I noticed, the quality of the handles, it's really good. I mean, it feels really good quality. And even when you close the door, you can hear it. The sound, it's great the quality it's very good I think they, they also work a lot on on the sound insulation because I notice when I drive the sound insulation in the interior it's great you can see you have rubbers here 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 much more rubber than uh, on other cars that's why they sound probably so good so from this point of view it's really really good big mirror I like that this is great visibility here in the corner we have blind spot technology right here uh, it's hide it there again turning signals on the mirror and it's LED light we have a camera down here for 360 degrees camera 
so big mirrors good visibility very very practical mirrors again something that i like and it's added to the practicality look at around the side guys look at those plastic here those are really useful you know and even down here on the down part on the down skirt uh, they are very useful if you scratch the car in time if it's something happened around here you don't have to repaint the car you just change those plastics and this was a great idea who invented that was a smart person and i see on many many cars these days very very useful those plastics now up there we have camera we have sensors the car can read the traffic speed limit also uh, for lane assist we have there for for different different sensors for different light and raining and that will work together with the radar for adaptive cruise control that it's behind the mazda logo you can see the mazda logo it's kind of a glass here so it's not a three-dimensional so behind this uh, mazda logo is the radar with adaptive cruise control emergency brake for all that safety features here we have the camera for 360 degrees camera and we have this beautiful grill to be honest i like very much the grill and i like the fact that they make it in glossy plastic so this is this is really nice i really like the grill i really like how they integrate this chrome around here we have some chrome on the down part really nice and also how they they insert it here you know the headlights are somehow integrated here in the body of the car inside the body of the car so kind of unique and you can see the turning signals led the daylight led and we have the matrix high beam also and uh, low beam led lights and they look nice here on the side also you have another small uh, led light so it looks super cool i don't know about you but i like the lights the, the front lights i think they they are some of the most beautiful and they look a little bit like a bmw if you look from some angles uh, but they look really nice really really nice i don't know i like them uh, again four parking sensors in the front not six uh, down here again the same plastic air intakes here to the to to the radiators air intakes also here on the grill uh, the hood it's also long and nice and simple uh, it has some kind of nice lines here on the side that make the car look much more aggressive a little bit aggressive a little bit sportier but overall this is it this is it nice line really really nice line really nice design um, it's a beautiful attractive car in my opinion we have 19 inch rims that's something to keep in mind very nice combination between this black and and some chrome and then we have the ventilated brake discs in the front and in the back we have normal brake discs so that's something to keep in mind they're a little bit smaller on the back but overall those 19 inch uh, rims they fit splendid on the car i mean they are perfect for the car if you buy this six five just get this 19 because they look nice and they are also very useful over the bumps they are mega mega comfortable and uh, they look also good anyway this is the exterior guys now let's go inside i want to also turn off the engine turn off the lights and also from here i want to open the trunk i want to show you the engine first of all and then we will go in the trunk and i will talk about the trunk and the things in the trunk there so here in order to open this up you have in the middle wow this is heavy oh my god this is heavy but i like that they put rubber here look at this they put rubber here and they put rubber in the middle oh my god look at this two two type two lines of rubber and this is incredible because in this way they can somehow protect the environment from the noise and from vibration and this is a good thing here is the sky active d diesel engine 2.2 liter 184 horsepower here is the air filter there is the 12 volt battery the fuse box here is the liquid uh, for the wipers and yeah it looks nice to be honest it looks really nice but this is really really heavy anyway and it's a manual lift gate that's something to keep in mind 
Now guys, let's go in the trunk. Open the trunk, automatically you just press the button, it will open up for you. Relatively big entrance in the trunk, and not only that, it's a big entrance, but I like a few things here. So first of all, we have a handle, we have the button to close it, and I like very much this part here. You don't have to always pull it and push it and stuff like that. I like the fact that it stays automatic, it goes automatic on the higher, on the upper side, and in this way you can fill in the trunk without any problem and in the same time you have this uh, protection up here so from my point of view this is really really useful i will take it out and i will show you also the way it looks without it another thing that i like very much although the entrance is quite big is the fact that we have a completely flat floor i mean it's really flat floor here and this is super super useful this is great we have some plastic at the entrance and a flat floor so you can fit in here uh, the the things without any problem we have some storage space in the left side we have some storage space in the right side right here and also you can open those caps and you can put different things here so you can see the space is relatively useful and it's very easy to do that it's just take those plastics put them back and here on the right side the same story look at this another space there really really useful and they, they somehow uh, somehow managed to put it really nice in a nice nice way then you have some handles here to fold down the seats i will show you later and also here on the left side very useful under the floor you probably wonder what is here we have some storage space because it's an all-wheel drive system not huge space under the floor here but still relatively big for some triangle repair kits and stuff like that and also in the front there you can see you have another space uh, the repair kit is there and some other tools, uh, useful tools. So this is it. You can also take this out. You can put it even a little bit downer if you want. You can put it downer so you can win a few centimeters. If you really need those two, three centimeters, you can do that. Anyway, let me take this out, guys, and then we will fold down the seats and I will show you the way it looks without those protections. All right, I just take out that protection so you can see one more time. Look at the entrance entrance in the car it's huge big entrance here so you can fit in here a lot of stuff without any problem i mean uh, in terms of practicality it's really really good and you have also a flat floor so it's just just perfect i think you can make an idea for yourself anyway now if you want to fold down the seats it's great that you can fold down also the middle part so in order to have like uh, skis you know you can fold down the middle part how you do that you just pull this button here in the middle and then you have a flat floor you don't have to worry too much to stress out too much and you can see you can carry your ski you can have two passengers in the same time now if you need even more to fold it down you just do it like that look how simple it is it's just boom and it's all down it didn't go down because of the middle part so usually you have to do both of them but anyway, it's another thing It's great that we have this plastic here that hold the seat belt so you don't have to always worry about the seat belt that you have to pull it uh, just like that. But anyway, it's great. Now, let me go in the back and let me show you something. Look at, the, look at the floor now, look at the space here. It's incredible practical. You have a flat floor, completely flat floor. You can even sleep here without any problem it's a big space and it's great that it's completely flat not only that the car it's relatively business and premium but it's also very practical so from my point of view this is great i mean look at this look how much space you have so it's it's really really good if i go on the side you will see right here again i want to take the seat belt out for a second and then I want to show you the way it looks without it. So the, the, the great part on Mazda cars, and it is that you can open the door 90 degrees. Look at this. It's, it's great. How big is the opening in the cars is just incredible. At least in this CX-5 entrance, it's relatively big. So from this point of view, no problem. You can see also the space here from the side. You can see also the trunk one more time back there. And yeah, it's practical. Look at this, flat floor. Here it's, it's flat, it's almost flat. It's, it's completely flat actually, look at this. It's incredible good. Also down here, uh, the transmission tunnel is there and also you can see how much space you have here. So it's relatively fine. You can also fit in a few things down there. So overall, 
this is it. This is the trunk. So let me put everything back and we will go inside to see the other uh, things there. So I like the fact that you have a big window here and the visibility is quite good even though we have a window that stays here on the body of the car you will see when we go inside that the visibility is good. Now in terms of quality and door designs uh, it's very good in my opinion a lot of good quality soft material on the higher side we have leather here you can see the stitches here you can see the handles also they feel good quality uh, also kind of a fake wood insertion here with the chrome here you have soft again down here soft here and super soft leather I like that I like the quality very much and down here is the only place where you have plastic from down here uh, and you have the speaker, you have some storage space, you have the buttons and some glossy plastic for the windows here. So very good quality overall. It's super premium even in the back doors here. Now the entrance in the car, quite big as you see before. And you can see from this angle also how much space you have and how they look those beautiful leather seats. And they are quite optional to be honest, you have to pay extra for them. But uh, I tell you, totally deserve because the quality of those seats it's just incredible you can see the stitches you can see them close up a little bit uh, they look beautiful and they are also they feel like they can last for longer for many years i don't know it feels when you touch them that it's a very very good quality leather you can see even the little holes here the stitches the finishing it's it's great and also you have this leather until here you don't have any plastic so the comfort should be should be great in the back here now guys, you have two ease of fix also here in the back, so you can install two child seats. You have two cup holders. You have the possibility to heat your seats. So you have heating seats for you and a passenger. Then here, leather armrest, and then you can open this up very good quality, even down here. And then you have two USB ports there. I think you can see them. Yes, look at this. Super useful, super cool. I like that very, very much, to be honest, really good quality. And I like the fact that they make it kind of flat in the middle, so even third person can sit there. The transmission tunnel, it's a little bit bigger, but I will show you in a second how much space you have. Behind the front seats, again, leather, very good quality leather, some storage space here, great, great quality. Anyway, let me go inside. Once you're inside the car, uh, the quality is great. And once you close the door, uh, you will notice immediately the sound insulation is very good even though it's a street here with a lot of cars I can hear so much noise from outside in terms of space I'm 173 centimeters and I still have huge space over my head and a lot of space in the front here really a lot of space I can stretch my legs under the front seat and I feel really good I feel really comfortable on those seats uh, visibility as I said before it's really good you have also a small window here but it's quite good and also comfort it's super super nice I mean I have a lot of space here up here you have a handle you have a hook you have this white uh, roof I like very much this white roof it make much more bright inside here the car and also the quality is very good up here you have also some light LED light this is also good and let me go in the middle in the middle you can go very easy because it's a flat uh, seats here sorry there is not a flat floor you have this transmission tunnel uh, and you cannot have your legs together you have to have it like that but you still have plenty of space here look at this this is the space and this is the space on my head so a lot of space on my head this is what i notice if i stretch my hand almost completely and here almost completely but you can have free person here for short trips it's not so comfortable as on the side and on the back it's a little bit stiffer but overall it's okay you can sit here for for short trips without any problem and even maybe for medium trips but overall it's it's fine the quality is really good here in the middle because the usb ports are here on the armrest uh, here we don't have any usb port we have those uh, vents here that are really really useful in the winter and also in the summertime when it's super hot like today then on the roof here we have this glass roof that is also optional but you have to use this manual like that uh, but you have the button here to open this up electrically and i will show a little bit later we will go in the front guys and we will talk about uh, multimedia we will talk about the dashboard and the things in the front there but overall if you look from this angle you can see the dashboard design it's very nice and most of it it's made by leather and very good quality 
and yeah anyway let's go in the front there one big window from one piece this is a good thing that you have a great visibility in the mirrors the same high quality on the door the same very very good quality materials here we have leather you can see the stitches the handle feel good the same fake wood here with a little bit of chrome again here leather leather here and also here on the armrest it's much more softer this area than it's on the other cars you can see that when i press this it's it's much more softer the quality it's really really good here we have the the speaker we have both sound system as i said in the beginning very good sound system uh, a lot of storage space here to put your things and then you have the glossy plastic with the buttons for the windows for the mirrors you can adjust the mirrors electrically uh, you can open and fold the mirrors from here and you can lock the window position so this is with the doors very good quality on the doors now let's go inside now here you can see also the interior of the car a little bit from this angle and you can see in the front the seat also you can see one more time the glass roof and guys in the front here we have the same high quality leather seats uh, and also they are electrically adjustable and you can see in the front here you can see the stitches the gray kind of brown stitches sorry and you can see these little holes but this time in the front those little holes here are very useful you know why because the car come with ventilated seats so you have heated seats and ventilated seats for you and the passenger in the front side support very good quality uh, you have electric adjustable seats you have two position to save this for the position of the seat so in general the seats are really really good then the pedals normal pedals no aluminum pedals we have simple pedals there some simple entrance here with a little bit of plastic uh, then you can have the button here you have buttons to open the front and the gas tank here you have the buttons for open the trunk view the cameras parking sensors downhill assist lane assist and uh, east east stop then a little bit higher from here up you have soft material everywhere soft and leather everywhere even on the higher part stitches you have here the vents uh, very good quality as you touch it so I like it in general I like the car very very much now let me go inside all right now let's adjust the seat a little bit you can see the adjustment of the seat it's really fast visibility around the windows it's great look at this great visibility great visibility in the mirror and good visibility in the front big windshield uh, and overall it's a good visibility around the car even though the car come with a free 360 degrees camera I will show you in a second um, you have still good visibility here you have an armrest in leather what I notice is that uh, you cannot adjust it I mean it's fixed just like that but it's relatively good once you open it up you have some space here that you can take it out then you have a lot of space plus USB ports two USB one 12 volt port very useful space there I like it two cup holders here uh, good quality also on the center console you can see the brown leather with the stitches uh, here we have uh, electronic handbrake auto hold the controllers for the multimedia system because this car doesn't come with a touch screen it's much better you have to use those things while you're driving and trust me it's much safer like that here in the middle you have this uh, stalk where you can change the different position of the uh, gear shifter then here you have the possibility to charge your phone wireless so you can leave it here you charge it wireless and then you have another 12 volt port down there so very useful in my opinion now guys let me start the engine here's the start engine button press the brake start the engine you can see a nice graphic there uh, and then once you start the engine I want to show you something once you go in reverse now we are in reverse you can see this incredible 360 degrees camera also you have the button here to change the different view but I want to show you guys I mean the camera was one of the most impressive thing the resolution is great we have 360 degrees camera and you can see around the car everything what happened there I mean it's it's really really good very good cameras and for me that was really awesome while you're driving you can see around there uh, also this is great anyway the car have also an uh, manual mode if you go down to drive and then left you have the possibility to change the gears manually from those pedals behind the steering wheel and this is also great other than that we have a climatic system right here with physical button I know many people these days complain about 
oh, all the cars come with touch screens and stuff like that. A Mazda CX-5 come with a physical button. Those are ventilated seats and you can turn it on. You have the physical button for the vents. It's super easy to use it and I like it very much. I have to tell you, it's a great, great uh, climatic system and it works really good. I just turn it on uh, the ventilated seats because it's quite hot outside and it works really good. So pretty nice. Let me turn it off completely. Also here you have heated seats, of course, you can turn it on and off. You have heated steering wheel here for the winter. Great, great feature again. Uh, this is super useful. Here you have soft material, soft material leather, stitches. Even up here you have soft material and leather and stitches. You have the head-up display that's not so good because that car is in the front. But I think you can see it somehow, the speed, it shows you a lot of information about cruise control while you're driving. You can see it, it's right here. And the great part is that it's directly on the windshield. And this is great. You can see more in the test drive video. Check out the test drive video there. I show you more about that. Uh, you can see it even better. And it's great that it's directly on the windshield. And the good part is that it doesn't bother you at all. I mean, you didn't even notice if you don't want to look at it. Now here you have the vents, also good quality on the vents as you touch it, a little bit of chrome, uh, this fake woody thing here. Uh, then the glow box, the glow box, I noticed that it's not that huge. I mean, it's, it's fine, but it's not huge glow box, but you can put your things there without any problem. So I think it's relatively fine. Now guys, the cockpit and the steering wheel, the steering wheel, you can adjust it manually from down there, up, down, forward, backward, the way you want to. Uh, adjust it you can adjust it very simple from down there good good quality good grip the same kind of classic steering wheel from Mazda uh, it's made by leather and it has a good grip here you have some controllers for the info uh, for the cockpit I should say so you can see some information there the cockpit is relatively simple it's nothing fancy nothing complicated you can change in the middle there a few information that you can see like consumption or yeah the cruise control you can see the blue add blue and how much kilometer how many kilometers you can still drive the car but relatively simple here on the right side you have also the buttons for the cruise control you can set up the cruise control you can uh, adjust the speed and the distance between you and the car in the front and stuff like that so overall it's relatively simple even the cockpit but it's the way it should be i mean trust me it's much better like that then you have the Bose sound system here we have a speaker look at this how beautiful it is on the boat uh on the boat a pillars it looks so fancy and so expensive and also i like the fact that uh we have a vent here on the on the a pillar that send the air directly on this window and it will defrost it in the winter really fast this is a good thing now going to the uh, multimedia system you have to control it it's not a touch screen so you have to control it from the center console right here where you have all these physical buttons and then from here you can go to home and you can change for example you can go to settings and on the settings you have all the settings of the car like in vehicle display so you can um, active drive display you can control the head-up display from here you can change different information about the head-up display uh, center display then you have the sound settings on the sound settings you can change all the settings here the safety settings i have a separate video with all these multimedia system from mazda and if you want to see it check it out on the channel but here you have the driver assistance system so uh, mazda radar cruise control it has that radar driver assist alert um, then you have the safety alerts here lane departure warning and all that blind spot monitoring active safety here you have the lame keeping assist of course and collision avoidance and view monitoring and parking sensors and speed alert and all that safety feature you find it here the vehicle settings you find the doors the lights the interior lights uh, the rain um, sensitive wipers the turn signals so from here you can customize and change a few uh, a few infos about the car connectivity settings and system settings on the system settings you find all those clock uh, time date language temperature distance speed um, and software update and software system information all those information you will find it here anyway then going back to home you will have the navigation but it's not the car 
doesn't have that SIM card, so we have the SD card, we need the SD card in order to work, but I show you that in the other video, so check out the other video with the multimedia system from Mazda. Here you can connect your Bluetooth devices, and then you have the ent infotainment system, entertainment system here with the radio and all that stuff, and information about the car, where you have the fuel efficient monitoring here, you can see all the consumption and you have the vehicle status monitoring so overall it's super super simple nothing crazy nothing complicated uh, it's simple to use the way it should be on the higher part we have a big mirror great visibility in the mirror in the back there trust me it's, it's really really good visibility you have also a glasses support this is one of my favorite parts you can put your glasses here you have led lights two led lights uh, and you have also the button to open the let me show you this glass roof that you have to pay extra for it, it's optional and it's, it's really great, it's worked fine, also you have to close it manually from here, but it's, it's fine, it's a great extra. Up here you have a mirror with normal lights and some storage space and also of course a handle. So guys, that was the video, it's super hot inside here. Uh, it's still summer outside, almost September, but it's still summer. Thank you for watching, guys. That was the review with this Mazda CX-5. Um, actually, it's too much, too much light like this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. If you still have questions, ask me down below, whatever you want to ask. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all of you that watching my video. Don't miss out the test drive video with the same car if you want to see it on the street. Also, guys, if you want to buy the car, see the car, test drive the car, check out Gallicker Garage in Switzerland if you are around here. The link will be in the description of the video. My rating for this Mazda CX-5 will be 9.8. And yeah, it's a nice car. It's a great car. And the price is relatively good for what this car offers. So that was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.